Hello everyone, I'm Force McFreelove and this is Speedplay Horse Lords number 15. We left off having fully conquered all of Europe and North Africa, Russia, all of the bits that we have on the map. All that is left for us to conquer is the Indian subcontinent. With that said, we begin moving our forces and also getting marriages for our uh, heir and getting all of our massive infernal columns orders to march into India and begin the invasions. Now we had previously declared war on a single Indian nation. The reason for that was so that we would keep the constant state of war and thus not have to worry about accidentally settling when we meant to pillage. At any rate, with our armies now rolling into position, we're able to declare a series of wars on the major Indian empires that bordered us. Interestingly enough, we've been at peace with them for at this point, hundreds of years without any sign of conflict or uh, less than great intent on our part. However, their time has finally come. This uh, peaceful border is now anything but, and we begin to ship over all of our troops that are now being freed up from Europe. We have hundreds of thousands of men coming over in just a complete swarm in order to take over and just pillage the Indian subcontinent. This is basically a world of horde ready to go and make that not an exaggeration. And so we continue to send our forces over and essentially just begin the Indian uh, pasteurization, for lack of a better word. And our armies continue to just march over. They are sort of trickling in, uh, as has been the case for a while now. Every time the game rapidly speeds up, it's just to more or less cut out a slew of pillaging somewhere else. And every time we do that, go through one quick cut, we usually get a uh, new group of at least some number of infernal columns to send onto the front. We already made peace with our first Indian nation, we begin to pillage them. We set up uh, sub-rulers just so that we don't get uh, too busy. Ultimately though, that's a practice I think I'm going to let down. We get an interesting event which we decide to just go for. And besides that, we pillage some more and we send more and more of our forces over into India. Now we are getting a few interesting events as we move in. We go ahead and integrate our next Indian nation, continuing to grant all of the minor holdings except for one, just so that we can destroy a single holding and then move on. Ultimately there isn't really any benefit to that, and quite frankly as we get further into India I am almost certainly going to just abandon the practice. Meanwhile we go into even more states of India just in an attempt to spread our infernal columns out as best we can. Hopefully our uh, 4,000 stacks will be sufficient. India is very highly developed, so it's possible we may need to group our forces together in even larger groups. Ultimately though, the uh, resistance on the part of the Indian nations has actually been shockingly light. And it looks as though this may be a rather rather quick and straightforward conquest and once that's done we'll have completed our goal once we take over India there is nothing left in the world we declare war on yet another Indian state and just keep bringing our forces to bear you'll notice we still have infernal columns just waiting to be brought into the fight we go ahead and give them orders the, this is the army that has destroyed Europe, or let, let's not say destroyed Europe. This is the army that has um, ch -ch 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 brought Europe into alignment with our cultural beliefs and practices, ergo just living in a bunch of pasture and not having towns and villages and all that. Moving on, we are continually pressing forward. The Pope declares a crusade for Italy and drops around a thousand men that will be very swiftly dealt with by the sub-clan that rules Italy. So it's not even anything that we have to focus on really at all other than an interesting notice at the declaration of war. We continue to move forward against the subcontinent 
our forces have essentially seized everything minus one or two small subsections and we do go ahead and then make peace once they've been incorporated and at this point you'll notice I just completely give up on creating new vassals that we'll just keep for a couple of years and then revoke their lands of as at this point there's really no reason to go about that we will just directly incorporate all of the lands into our personal rule and then pillage them. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll be back with more tomorrow.